simplify 25 multiplied by t raised to power minus 4 whole divided by 5 raised to power minus 3 which is then multiplied by 10 then multiplied by t raised to power minus 8. We can see that 25 and 10 they can be factorized. So we will factorize 25 and 10 first. Let us proceed. 25 is 5 multiplied by 5 then t raised to power minus 4 in numerator in denominator you have 5 raised to power minus 3 and then 10 which can be written as 2 multiplied by 5 and then t raised to power minus 8 you can cancel 5 in numerator with 5 in denominator directly you will get 5 raised to power 1 which is 5 itself then t raised to power minus 4 5 raised to power minus 3 2 and t raised to power minus 8 I want to discuss with you a rule a raised to power m is equal to a raised to 1 upon a raised to power minus m similarly a raised to power minus m is equal to 1 upon a raised to power m you can express one rule in these two ways so what did you observe you observe that here power is positive if you bring this identity bring this number to the denominator from numerator to denominator the index will be ne will be negative of itself here power is negative it will become positive negative of itself already it is a negative number so negative negative positive I'm again explaining you for example if you have 2 raised to power minus 3 it is in numerator because 2 raised to power minus 3 can be considered as this so we can say that 2 raised to power minus 3 is in numerator if you bring this number to the denominator you will get it is equal to 2 raised to power 3 okay so using this identity we can rewrite it numerator as it is 5 raised to power 1 multiplied by t raised to power minus 4 here 5 raised to power minus 3 is in denominator if you bring this number if you transfer this number to the numerator it will become 5 raised to power 3 from 5 raised to power minus 3 to 5 raised to power 3 similarly if you transfer this number t raised to power minus 8 from denominator to numerator it will become t raised to power 8 let us leave 2 in the denominator and see what will happen you see that 5 raised to power 1 and 5 raised to power 3 the bases are same they are multiplying so powers will be added so you can write it is equal to 5 raised to power 1 plus 3 I am writing the rule which I am using a raised to power m multiplied by a raised to power n is equal to a raised to power m plus n okay and the same thing you can do here also t raised to power minus 4 multiplied by t raised to power 8 it will become t raised to power minus 4 plus 8 in denominator 2 as it is you see 5 raised to power 1 plus 3 means 5 raised to power 4 t raised to power minus 4 plus 8 it will become t raised to power 4 2 in denominator now 5 raised to power 4 is 625 it is t raised to power 4 another term and 2 in denominator so this is the final answer